Well, you guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to remove Windows 7 Recovery. Now, it's a tricky little pest to remove, and I've had a lot of requests from people uh, to how uh, to remove it, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. Now, it's took me a while to get hold of this virus to actually show you. Now, it's got different variants to this uh, virus. You've got Windows 7 Recovery, you've got Windows 7 Restore, you've also got Windows XP Recovery, and so on and so on, okay? And there's a few different uh, names to it, but it does the same thing. Now I've got some other viruses on this system and uh, a common question I've had from people is what happens when it hides all your system files? Well I'm going to show you how to get around that. And as you can see uh, it's just basically a fake um, program really. It, does def it says it's defragging and all sorts of stuff like this as you can see. And it's all just fake really. What it wants you to do is purchase the actual program. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, show you how to do it. Now I've got no programs on the desktop as you can see it's hidden the whole lot and uh, all my programs down here are hidden okay and also go into my computer and C drive and if I just pull that down a little bit go into users and then as you can see all my folders empty so I can't even get any programs and this is exactly the same thing in safe mode so if I went into safe mode it would look exactly the same so what I want to do here is uh, go into safe mode to just show you that right now so I'm going to reboot the system into safe mode and we'll go from there so let's just restart okay so you want to be tapping F8 on your keyboard while you're restarting and then we're going to enter safe mode with networking just want to show you exactly what happens in uh, safe mode as well and this is what really stumps people they don't know what to do with it so I'll show you a way around it now let this just boot into the actual uh, safe mode desktop I'm going to pause the video at this stage okay so we're just loading into the desktop of safe mode And you'll probably find it's exactly the same in safe mode. It won't allow you to do anything. And this is uh, typical of this type of uh, rogue. So let me just close this off so we can see what we're doing. And there you go. All the actual files are still missing. And uh, if I go to my computer and C drive, go to users, and you can see the folder is empty. Okay. So if I try to get on the internet, it won't allow me to get on the internet either. So let's see if we can get on the internet first. If I can, then I will uh, download Malwarebytes. And as you can see, you're now getting this threat pop up and it stops it from running. Okay, so the first thing I want to do really is try to get some uh, files uh, scene so I can see what we're doing here so what I'm going to do is come into the run bar here and type CMD and hopefully we can get this to run so I'm going to right click and uh, run as administrator now from here what I want to do is uh, type this command Once we've done that, we're going to do all files, and uh, we're going to do forward slash s and then forward slash d. And then once we run this, you'll see a load of access denied. Don't worry about that. Just ignore that, okay? So the first thing I want to do is run all this and let that scan away. And hopefully, we'll see some files come back onto the screen. Okay, there we come okay so what I want to do first is I'm going to go to the properties of that Windows 7 recovery and as you can see it's in program data and this is the actual culprit here okay so what I want to do here now is uh, close this off and see if we can see those files and it's program data and there you can see the culprit so the first thing I want to do is show hidden files folders and take the tick out of these like so and apply and OK 
and you can see the files here so what I want to do is just completely rename this file to stop it next time we boot up and there you can see it there and I'm going to do this one as well because this is a rogue as well just do that same thing next thing I want to do is come to users ok Brytech as you can see there and then go into application data roaming make sure we can see something else in here as you can see I'm going to rename this one as well just to kill that one off and these are uh, files here we can delete once we reboot the system hopefully that will be the end of that virus and inside here you'll probably see stuff in here as well okay so I want to rename, rename this file as well like so and that's that one done okay so I reckon we should be allowed to reboot here in a moment once this is finished I'll let this finish off because it's just uh, showing files Should pause the video at this stage okay so that's the scan now finished and as you can see we've uh, finished there I'm just going to close this off now you don't have to do it this way there is other ways of doing it you could use a bootable CD like Kaspersky or Bitdefender, Nod32, a rescue CD some sort of a bootable CD like that remove those or you could go into a pre-installed environment and delete those files manually yourself and then reboot the system but this is just showing you a way in case you haven't got nothing like that already downloaded and you've only got one computer so let's now restart the system into normal mode and and then we'll, we'll see how it goes from there just let this reboot Okay, let's see if this is uh, running hopefully it's not and then we can then delete those files okay let me just clear this off okay so we can now see our desktop back and we've got our files back so what we need to do here is uh, I'm just going to go into my computer C drive and go back into these areas and delete those files okay so we've got some files here I think that are, this definitely looks uh, dodgy okay we're going to remove that as you can see this was relating to that jh.exe inside the temp file so we're going to delete that file and the files that we renamed now your, your names on your files may be slightly different but all you got to remember is uh, just check first now these may have gone back so let me just check to see if this has gone back no okay it's okay so temp file and there was a file in here as you can see and also I'm going to come back out just check those areas okay so now we want to get on the internet we still can't see all our files but what we're going to do here we can see Internet Explorer and hopefully we should be able to get on the internet now which we can and uh, I'm just going to go to this location here and download this file which is unhide that'll be the first thing I want to do we'll just close that off I also want to get Malwarebytes and run that. Okay, so we can leave that run in there, like so. I'll get Malwarebytes as well while we're at it. And then run that scan, and you should be up and running pretty quickly. 
So once I've done this I would run with Super Anti Spyware afterwards and also do an online scan and check for root kits with Gema or something of that nature. I'm not going to run through the whole procedure of those. You'll just see how to get yourself back up and running. So we can now close these off. And uh, this is now doing its thing. So I'll just let that unhide the rest of the files. Just pull that up a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to say yes to that and just install Malwarebytes there. I'd like to run Malwarebytes straight away to try to get most of the uh, remnants off. Update, remember that guys, you always want to update first. Okay, so saying our files should be now visible. I'm going to click OK on that. Just decline there. And what I want to do really is I just want to run a quick scan and then do a full scan afterwards. I just want to try and lighten the load a bit. We'll just let this run. And if we uh, check there now, you can see we've got all our files back. All our program files are back. And all our program files there. And uh, as you can see, we've got full access to all our files. And it's easy when you know how, but once you've seen this video, you'll be able to copy it and uh, just run along. Just make sure that you run other scans. Don't just rely on malware bytes. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, run some other stuff. Okay. So I'm going to download Hitman Pro, stick down the desktop and run that as well. Need Malwarebytes running. Okay, so uh, install Hitman Pro. I'm sorry this is a long video, but I just want to make sure that we uh, cover all the bases here and uh, just let this um, automatic update and you can see uh, it's going to be using these pieces of software cloud software to actually scan the system so I'll put that down there for now and you can see we have 10 infections so far now, see, the reason why I do quick scans to start off with is to lighten the load of the computer so I can get some sort of control back on the computer then I will do a full long scan and sometimes I'll abort this scan and actually just clean up the uh, infection if it's really heavy uh, of infection so I'm going to click OK there, show results, and as you can see, there's the uh, there's the culprit there, and we're going to remove these. I'm going to close this off, and um, what I'm going to do next is um, go next here, agree to this, and then just run this program as well. So we'll just go through the motions here. Now normally I would have um, rebooted at this stage, but because of the video, I'm just going to leave that there. I will reboot. Normally I'd have reboot and then run Hitman Pro. We'll just run this. Okay, so that's good. No threats found. So we can now reboot. So I'm just going to quickly reboot and get rid of those. And now this is a uh, loaded up we should see a system that's a lot more usable so again I would uh, I would do some uh, more scans on the system and then clean up the rest of this remnants but there's not much left on the system as you can see it is using okay uh, applications and whatnot I would do a full scan now of uh, malware bytes then super anti-spyware as well 
and once I've done that I'll just put up a few lists of stuff that I would do okay so I would also as I said do an online scan for Nod32 or something like that do an online scan and also run uh, Gma and stuff like that and before you finish just make sure that you've uh, cleared all your system restore points okay now this does affect Windows XP as well remember that so you just need to come in here and just make sure that you disable your system restore points and then and you should be uh, good to go so we're going to turn off system restore or you can delete them whatever you want to do I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to turn it back on again and that's pretty much it for this video really I'm just going to leave that there scanning and then do some other scans and that should be all up and running so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys please remember show your support hit that subscribe button and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and uh, if you've got any problems with your computers then the links down below and that's the forum you can post your questions on there okay so thanks again guys bye for now